Hey everybody, Shaboy here, back from a video and today I'm going to be starting a devlog where I remaster one of my old games called Teamwork Heroes, playing the trailer on the screen right now so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to be remaking, remaking this game from scratch and see how much better I can make it than the original one. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a basic map real quick, or rather just a lobby. This is a trash looking lobby, but it'll do for now. Now the first thing I'm going to do, just like in the original uh, Teamwork Heroes, we're going to make it a top-down view. So I'm just going to go to Starter Player, Starter Player Scripts, Insert Object, a Local Script, delete that, right-click Local Script, Insert Object, and then I'm just going to make a Camera Module. Now I'm just going to make it so whenever a character spawns in, it's going to tell that Camera Module to just lock on to the character so all right so i've made a basic script the local script is going to wait for the character to spawn whenever that spawned is going to tell this module to attach the camera to this part which is the human eye part so i'm going to see how that works and oh it, look, it looks pretty glitchy i'm going to fix that it's going to change the position values until it locks on correctly and this looks pretty good i think this is pretty accurate to the original one now I'm just gonna make it move a bit smoother, and I'm also gonna make it a little bit higher up so that you can see further. I'm gonna make it go to the character more slowly so that it goes, it lags behind a little bit. And I think that'll make it look a bit smoother. And now it should be a lot smoother, so I'm gonna playtest this. Oh, it got an error. Oh, I made a typo right here, just fix that. And then it should work now. Or not, what, it could just also do that. Oh, I reversed this, okay. Need to change up the values a little bit more to fix the camera. Yeah, I say this is pretty good. I'm gonna lower the camera a little bit, and then that should be it for the camera movement. Yeah, but I'd say this is pretty good right here. I'm gonna disable the jumping because you can't jump in the original game. Turn off auto jump, turn off mouse lock, and just change some settings to make sure nothing can mess up. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make an enemy, just a basic enemy right here. So I'm gonna get this, maybe just color it like red or something. So I'll just make it a red person to be an enemy. I'll name it enemy, and it'll just have some basic stats, I guess. Now I'm gonna try to make this enemy chase the player after I spawn it in. So first I gotta make a server script, and then I'll make an enemy module. And then I'm gonna start scripting this. All right, so this what this is gonna do is just gonna, when I press play, it's gonna wait three seconds, and then it's gonna spawn the enemy in. Unless I type the name wrong, it's actually test enemy. And then now it's gonna spawn the enemy in. There we go, right there. So now we have an enemy. It's gonna unanchor it real quick, and then now I'm gonna start making the AI. So for now, I think I'll just make it some basic AI. If it needs pathfinding, then I'll do that later. So for this, I'm just gonna make a separate thread. And for that, it'll just be coroutine, which just makes this code run, and then it just skips past it. So while this code is running, it'll just keep going. And I'm gonna put the AI for it in here. So we need to find the closest player. So I'm gonna make a function for that. We have the closest player function. I'm gonna use it. So inside of a loop, local target goes closest player. And then we'll just put the position as the primary part of the enemy. And then if there is a target, we'll just move the enemy to it. So move to target. That primary part dot position, a little bit of, of weight to make sure it doesn't crash. And then the AI should be working, so it should run towards us. Or it didn't run towards us, so let's see if this is running. Okay, so it doesn't appear that the code is running, so I think I need to use resume on this. I'm pretty sure that's how you use that. And then now it should run. There we go, now we have the AI chasing us. Now to make sure the player can just teleport them out of the map, I'm just gonna, after the enemy is parented to workspace, enemy.primary part, set network owner nil. And that'll make sure they can't manipulate the enemy or anything and like teleport it out the map or just delete it and stuff like that because the server will just ignore it. I think the last thing I'm going to do for this video is just make it so it deals damage whenever it touches the a player. Enemy.humanoid.touch connect function then hit. So go humanoid equals hit.parent find first child which is a humanoid if humanoid and humanoid.health is greater than zero then we will deal damage to it. And that's pretty simple, but I've got to add a cooldown so that it doesn't just instant kill. So we're just gonna add a little bit of cooldown right here. And then I'll make it wait like half a second or around half a second before it can attack again. Now, if I press play here, you can see the enemy is going to run towards us. And whenever it touches us, it deals 40 damage to us. We're not 40 damage, but 20 damage. And that's about it for this video. In the next one, I'm probably gonna make a dungeon system so that you enter a lobby and then it generates a dungeon which will have enemy spawners in it that you will have to fight through. Make sure to set that like button and punch the subscribe button. Peace.